It is make or break. It is make or break. Basically, if we don't get this visa, then we can't do the trip. So everything hinges on this going well. <laughs> I don't mean to be a negative Nancy, but I just, the waiting. Okay guys, well, <laughs> what is it? This is, this is the first time we picked up the camera in nearly four weeks. I know. Uh, we last left you in Germany. Germany? It's that long yes, ago, I can't remember. it was Germany for the Q&A. Germany, we are back in the UK. We're in Devon at the moment, seeing my family. Yeah. We've had such a good month spending some quality time with friends and family, which is the whole purpose of having the little break. And it means that we are now full steam ahead for the Canada trip and things are starting to move very, very quickly. Yes, out of our control, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> right, is there anything in here that we need for tomorrow? Nope. Everything's out of there. Everything's out of there. <laughs> I am 100% organized, Everything's ready. Prepared. Everything's prepped and ready to go. Cool. So. If you didn't know, for the past nine months we've been driving around Europe and Turkey and this year we are shipping our van from the UK all the way to Canada. Things are starting to get busy. On a Monday we have one of the most important parts of the process which is our US visa interview in London. It's make or break for the, for the trip, isn't it? Yeah, this is... It is make or break. It is make or break. Basically, if we don't get this visa then we can't do the trip so everything hinges on this going well. Okay, so quick update on Sophia. She was in the mechanics for five days, a lot longer than expected. She's had a full service. She had power steering rack changed out, some bushes changed, and she's got a clean bill of health. Minus an MOT, which is coming up. Which does mean that I can now do the little bits of work that I need to do because we've only got a few weeks and the time's getting away from us. But let's go and see the two terrors, which I'm sure you guys have missed. Hello, you see. Hello. Okay, this way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Scout. You saying hi? Hi. Are you with her? This one as well in the past month has had the cone of shame, haven't you, Scout? Because he's had his balls chopped off. He's had the snip. Much needed. He actually escaped from my nan's garden twice in search of the ladies, didn't he scout? So yes, his balls are now no more. <laughs> uh, I'm so pissed off. I had a really nice like cropped blazer suit to wear and I've forgot the cropped blazer and left it back up in Derby. So now it's on to plan B which is a dress, which isn't so bad, but I really want it to wear that cropped blazer suit because whenever do I get to wear a cropped blazer suit living in a van? Never. Don't worry, Gok Ben is here to save you. Sorry, what? Don't worry, Gok Ben is here to save you. So I'm thinking summer dress with a denim jacket. I think that'll work. Otherwise, you gotta go naked. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Morning. Morning. Cheers. Look at that, good boy. Let's put your seatbelt on as well. We are using my mum's car because there's nowhere to park the van in London where we're going. So we need a car that we can park in an underground parking. My mum said we can use her car, which is very nice of her. Scout isn't 100% happy in the car, so he's sat up front with Ben where he seems to be a bit calmer in the front than he is in the back, so... Yes, he's getting ben gets used to, to ride shot. Ben, Scout gets to ride shotgun. Me and River in the back. So... Okay. London, please what? drive. London. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a British road trip, would it, without a traffic jam. We're meant to get there at three o'clock. It's now saying 
We're going to be there at half past four, literally not moving. Not far. Thank you. What did he say? He said it's not far. It's not far? Not far, yeah. Well, that was nice of him. Just do what I want, any old time. Easy with kids, eh? <laughs> Do you think that's alright? That's not too bad. Huh? This is okay, isn't it? We're only about a 10 minute walk from the embassy here. I said to Ben, what were the reviews of this place like? And he said, I don't know, it was just the closest one. So, <laughs> I can tell who What's... booked this place. <laughs> that's what? actually alright. Just saying how nice the bathroom is. Like... Oh wow, it is, isn't it? Like, it's spotless. That's really super clean. I think you expected I booked us into some sort of brothel. I wasn't 100% sure, to be honest. <laughs> oh, you might have caught that on the camera. Oh. He's arrived. Oh, sorry guys, didn't see you there. One of the things we were very excited to do when we came to luncheon was to see like all the takeaways that they have. Anyway, I have got a Thai feast. Ben has got a Korean feast and they both arrived at the same time. How awesome is that? But I haven't got any cutlery, so I'm gonna have to eat it with a teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> Which is dirty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dirty Korean fried chicken burger. Oh, with hash browns in. Cans of cork. Oh, thank you. Not only do I not have cutlery, I've got no plates or anything. Oh, this smells so good. Back home, the only takeaway choices we have are kebab, Indian or Chinese. So to see like sushi, Vietnamese, Thai, Korean. Lebanese. Guys, Korean. look oh at God, this. Just, like, amazing. Oh my God. Oh, they took the kimchi out. Yes. We've eaten almost everything. Just got some prawn crackers to snack on tonight. Right, so you're getting set. suited and booted. Yeah, so oh. feeling the smartest we've looked in a long time. Yeah, we didn't know what to wear, didn't know whether not to go full penguin suit, you know, dinner <laughs> jacket or shorts and t shirt or somewhere in between. I think smart casual think is smart about casuals, the right, yeah. yeah. So, some of you might be wondering if you're from the UK, do you not why do you need a visa for the US? We can get into the US visa free for 90 days, but if we want to stay for longer than 90 days, we have to apply for like a long stay visa. Obviously with our trip wanting to drive from the east coast of the states all the way across the west coast, then up to Alaska and back down again, we're going to be in the states for longer than three months. But this visa will allow us to stay in the US for up to six months at a time for a period of 10 years. It's the one we need. Like I said, everything depends on this. We're feeling pretty like apprehensive this morning. Can't take the cameras, so I'm gonna leave you here. Yes. We know since half five, it? the dogs have been out for a walk for 45 minutes. They are crashed out. We're gonna leave them in the hotel. We need to go. Yeah, let's go. How are you feeling? Apprehensive? Apprehensive. <laughs> Nervous. It's like going for a job interview. Isn't it? Look at you with your little folders. Yeah. I see that. <laughs> yeah. No, it'll be fine. I'm sure it will be. Just a formality, isn't it? But mm. it's still, it's, 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 this is everything. Yeah. Well, that was... Um, we don't I, know if we've got it. We don't know. I don't know the process. So basically, we got in there at 8 o'clock, out by 9. Um, and then the last bloke with two interviews. The first bloke was really friendly. Yeah, he was lovely. The second bloke wasn't. But um, they took our passports and they say you'll get these back in five days. So we don't know if that's a good thing. We don't know if... We'll get them back empty. Empty or we get them back with the visa. So... We basically, he didn't say anything, so I don't know whether Do, we've got them or not. Yeah, so we can check on online. We've got, there's a portal we can log into to see the application process, I think. So we're gonna keep checking we're gonna that. We're gonna go and check that now. Um, but yeah, so we Who have knows? no idea. I thought we'd come out like, yeah, we've got it, or no, we didn't get it. We've but now like, we're just oh. like, we don't know what, we still don't know. Yeah. So wait and see. Fingers crossed, we'll guys, let you fingers know when crossed. We know. <laughs> Well, that's it guys, we're back in the car now, heading back to Devon. I don't mean to be a negative Nancy, but I just, the waiting is killing me, like not knowing 
but we'll find out soon enough. We're gonna head back to Devon where we're gonna pick Sophia up and we're just gonna carry on as normal as if we've got the visas and just crack on with all of the prep that we've got to do. This was just step one. Back to a damp Devon. So you get some coal, no, coal for the fire. Name the film. Please, sir, may we have some coal for the fire? Uh, Muppet Christmas Cow. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so while Ben is stoking the fire, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a debrief for what happened today with the visa thing because it didn't like wrap itself up as neatly as I thought it would. Basically, when you go into the embassy, you're kind of, it's almost like a counter system, like at a bank. So there's just like this row of counters. They're a lot more private, almost like little booths. Um, but your number gets called and you go to one, you go, basically it's a two-step process. You go up once, they check all your documents and just kind of confirm that you're there almost. And then the second one is your interview. The first guy we had was so, so lovely. We were chatting to him, chatting about our YouTube channel. He's from Texas. And the second guy was a lot more straight faced and didn't give anything away. And then he just kind of typed on his computer for ages and then said, you're all set, we'll send you your passports back in five days. And Ben was like, do you want to see anything else? And he was like, no, nope, that's everything. So we left and I was like, did we just get accepted or not? Or did we like, is it kind of, do we find out later? So yeah, we don't know. We've checked our application online and it says it's still processing. So we've got some friends who've done it as well. And they said the fact that they took the passports is probably a good sign, which we think it might be, but we don't want to like count our chickens yet. And we don't want to like get our hopes up in case what if they decide that it's a no. So that's basically where we're at. So that's why it was all a little bit like, we didn't really know what was, what the process was and if we'd find out straight away or if they tell you at a later date or anyway. It's because the interview just wasn't as like in depth as I thought it would be. So I'm like, I don't feel like we've had the chance to justify why we're going. So with that out of the way, we're heading back up to Derby first thing tomorrow morning. We've got some like mini upgrades that we're making, nothing too crazy, but we're gonna get started on that tomorrow. But it's a very cold and wet evening in Devon today. Ben's mum has made like this Moroccan tagine thing in the slow cooker and it smells amazing inside. So I'm very excited to go and eat that this evening. And then early start, back on it all again tomorrow. So you might have heard of the Schengen Shuffle, but over the next few weeks, we're gonna be doing the M5 Shuffle. Back and forth between Devon and Derby. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with that then. <laughs> And um, Ben has just discovered something pretty monumental, something pretty life-changing that we haven't discovered in the almost three years that we've had Sophia. Do you want to tell everyone? What have you just discovered? I've just found out that we've got um, cruise control. I knew we had the speed limiter, and I'm sure when we bought it, the bloke said it's got cruise control, but you can't remember how to work it, and I just completely forgot. I'm obviously buying my mum's car to go to London and it has cruise control. Anyway, I've just looked at the, the little stalk and to set the limiter, you push it in and then I was back and forth trying to work out how to get a cruise control working. I never looked it up. Um, and then I just realised I just have to push the stalk down and it's set. I cannot, how, how many miles have we driven in this van? All the way to Turkey. We've done about 40, we've 50, 90, for about 40,000 miles. And you've just figured it out. I've just figured it out. And we have a slow cap. <laughs> Right, update guys, update, important we've, update, important update. We've made it back and we've just had a text message that our passports are being delivered <gasps> tomorrow. So we're going to check our online visa application status yes. on the laptops and see what it says. Nine, I think we've got it, issue, issue, it's issue, it's issue. <laughs> Why can't they say approved? <laughs> that makes things a lot better. Is it you? We're going to the States. We've <laughs> got it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, guys, you know, I didn't honestly, I didn't know if we were going to get it yesterday or not. It was very I'm like, really was deadpan. Much. But 
Hang on. We're good. We're good. Right, cup of tea. We are still on a massive high from finding out that our visa's got approved. Now begins the big task of deep cleaning Sophia and getting ready for some of the little upgrades that we're doing and little some of the modifications, but we need to get in everything out of here. And yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Endless baskets, lots of random toilet roll, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> right, shall we get emptying? Yes. This is River's first bed, and we're too sentimental to get rid of it. Ben is too sentimental to get rid it's of it. It's going in storage. <laughs> so this is what the dogs have each got one of their own, and this is what they're going to be flying to Canada in. So, crate, well, crate training is underway. This is going in the plane. This hasn't got wings and an engine. <laughs> no. This is what they're flying to Canada in. This, this is what they'll be sitting in whilst on the plane flying to Canada. I, I, think, I, hope, I hope people got that. <laughs> We have this beautiful light bar. Light bar. Now this is going to sit. I'll show you where this is going to sit. Follow me. It's going to sit out here on the um, sprinter step. You know the step you used to get up onto here. Yeah. So obviously that's not going to properly fit under there because there's no way to bolt it down or anything. So what we're going to do, saw this on another guy's um, sprinter. What we're going to do, we've got aluminium bar here. We're going to take the, the bolts out from here. We're going to mount it and screw them there. And then mount the light bar like that. This thing is brilliant. So it comes with the light and the whole wiring harness as well. So there's literally nothing I had to do apart from run all the wires. It's got a relay, which is mounted in here onto a fuse which then run the switch and the cables run through here I've taken the whole dash out and the cable all run all into the dash and it is wired in to a ignition live fuse and now we're going to mount it down here look how excited you are i'm really excited i can't find my angle grinder so i've had to cut the aluminium with a hacksaw but it's fine there's only two bits Happy I'm really happy with that. That looks really good. So now that we have the visas, it is full steam ahead. We're going to be taking you along with us every step of the way as we prepare to ship our run from the UK all the way to Canada in just a few weeks' time. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and we shall catch you guys next week. Bye. Oh look, there's some sheep there and Cheska's wearing one of the family <laughs> members here. It's not real. No, I know it's not real. Excuse me, oh gosh. God, my hair is such a mess. Do I need to redo all of that? Mm -hmm.